Dad Review, and hey, we're back and welcome. If this is your first time, hey, cool. Hopefully you find something you like, and if so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're there, click that bell, and if you want, just go ahead and smash that like button. If you're returning, hey, you're the real MVP, and I appreciate your support. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a company that honestly... I'm surprised it hasn't made bigger waves that it has. This is Lucky Lumberjack. And let me tell you, this is their lineup, uh, minus two of the bombs. And it, it's amazing. I like how they have small, you, they don't have all these crazy scents. So you have, this is what you choose from. Timberjack is your wood style scent. And it's not like any other wood style, style scent out there. You do get that that cedar or pine, uh, but then you get a nice, refreshing, almost, um, I don't want to use the word cologne because that's kind of over overused and they have one in their lineup, but it's a very fresh, outdoorsy, it's what I would think of if I was going to be in a wood shop working or outside chopping a tree down. And you know what? Timberjack, that's a great name. This is actually a really super thick oil too. I really enjoyed it as far as the consistency goes. Um, I didn't have to use as much in beard. Oh yeah, nice wood smell, but then followed up and it's very clean and it's not overpowering on the wood. Um, I know a lot of people are kind of turned off with the law of the pine, cedar and all that other stuff. If that's the case, but you want kind of that manly smell, the Timberjack is a very good, very good option. All of them do their job. They hydrate, they condition, they leave the beard feeling soft. Never really have had any problem with them feeling greasy. Uh, scent retention on the Timberjack has been uh, about a four to five. Um, but you get every so often you get slight whiffs of the wood. The cleanness is what kind of tapers off. Um, it's super pleasant. I enjoy it. Let's talk about their cologne-esque style scent. And that is Jack Esquire. Um, I was kind of unsure about it. It really intrigued me. And I've fallen in love with cologne style scents very recently. And so I wanted to try it out. And this one is different. It's not like any of the other colognes on the market. And that's what's nice is it. It's very. It's not in your face. Hey, I smell good. If that makes any sense. But it's very subtle. It's very refined. Um, and to me, it's a very sophisticated kind of uh, clean cologne style scent. It's what honestly. It's, it's a very manly, sophisticated man smell. Uh, I like it. I enjoy it. Uh, when I don't know what else to wear sometimes, I just come to this lineup and I find myself using the Jack Esquire or, some, or one of the other ones that we'll talk about. Now, I do have the balm to match the Jack Esquire. And uh, as you can see, I go in from the middle. That's just my style. I know some of you go around from the edges. Uh, tell me how you get your balm out. Do you go from the edge or from the middle? be interested to see but as far as consistency go we'll get we'll get a nice little as you can see firm pressure and it comes out um oh as i drop it on the ground not it fell in my pants uh, we'll break it down just a little bit as you can see it's fully emulsified broke down man that's scent um really the balm is more the balm is more soapy smell than cologne and that might sound weird, but paired up with the oil, it works really nice. Uh, the balm by itself is is less cologne and more soapy, so it's more of that cologne or that clean smell. Um, but super nice. I'd say it's a light to medium hold on that one. Um, I enjoy it. Nice little twist top metal container. That's a two ounce balm. Now I have the balm to match the Americana and. If you know me, you know my Instagram. Uh, Americana is one of my favorite scents. Uh, it was on my top 10 of 2018. 
and uh, I've used the tarnation out of this balm. It's a little bit, it's a little bit thicker balm. I'd say it's a good medium. I wouldn't say it's a heavy, but I wouldn't say it's a light balm. And the smell of the Americana when you mix these together is, um, man, if that's not their best seller, I, I'd be surprised because that scent itself is um, just intoxicating. I talked with him. He said that this is actually based off of a company, uh, a barbershop company there in the California area. And this was a scent made for them. And it's, it's one of my favorites. It truly does bring back that kind of old timey mm -hmm. American smell. And it's weird to say that, but I think, I believe the description says something on the web page. You're sitting on the porch with uh, listen to the old timers tell stories and proud to be an American and truly that's what that scent does do um, Speaking of their webpage, they have a Facebook. They have an Instagram. They have a YouTube um, But their webpage honestly is probably one of the cleanest most simple to navigate web pages out there um, They have all of their oils there. They also have their bombs their t-shirts and they have package deals you can get a balm, a shirt, and an oil. You can get an oil and a balm. Um, really, that's where you save the money on the web pages when you start packaging. And to be honest, the the price of the oil is a little bit higher on the um, site as far as price goes. But to me, it's worth it. I, I would definitely go back and get more. When I run out of Americana, I'm gonna go back and get more. Um, when I go out of this one, which we'll talk about next, I'll go back and get more because this is one of my wife's favorite scents. But I'm going to bundle because that's where you save the money. Bundle, bundle, bundle. Plus, you get more product. We talked about this scent here being my wife's favorite. And, uh, well, man, when I put this one in, I was in the bathroom. She was on the other side of the room. And I cracked it open, put it in, rubbed it in, and she smelled it. She's like, is that the beards on a beach I said yeah it is um, it's a pineapple uh, and coconut it's kind of like a pina basically a pina colada for your face and man I'm not a pina colada fan I don't drink them I don't I'm not coke I don't like coconut but I do enjoy this um, it's a very nice sweet refreshing scent it definitely does Make you want to feel like you want to slap on a hula skirt, go out and do a little jig. Um, and plus side, the wife loves it. Because we all know that we're getting these oils not for just ourselves, but for our significant other. And if she's enjoying the smell, then that means that you can keep on buying it, using it, and she's going to be happy. Um, I highly recommend it. He's got other stuff coming down the, down the pipes, and I can't wait to see what else comes out from him. Uh, super amazing guy. These are all of these bottles are filled. The labels are stuck on by him and his wife. This is a very small batch company, and to be honest, what's more American than that? Someone who had a dream, a vision, and is doing it. So please go support Lucky Lumberjack. Tell him that the bearded dad sent you. I promise you, you find one of these scents, you're gonna love it. But use my code. BDR20 to get 20% off your product. Save you a little bit more money. Grab yourself a shirt. Man, this shirt is it's nice and soft. It fits great. I've worn it so many times and thrown it in the washing machine and it still comes out and still fits like it's supposed to. So that's a testament to the quality of the shirt as well. The logo, you have a small printed logo on the front and then you have the big logo on the back and none of that's worn off. So what else can you ask for? Because I know you guys like your beard swag. But that's what I got from you. Lucky Lumberjack, the Timberjack, great wood smell. Jack Esquire, a very sophisticated man's cologne smell. The Americana, it just basically rounds up what this business is about, living the American dream. And then Beards on a Beach, a little paradise in a bottle. Guys, until next time, I'll talk at you later. Go give them some love. Like, follow, subscribe, smash that like button on this video, go find my Instagram, and until then, be a blessing and I'll talk at you later. Bye.